All right, dumpster divers, let's go dumpster diving and see what's on the shelves. I'm mostly looking for clearance, The Little Mermaid, and anything I can put in a thumbnail that'll make people engage with this video. Humpback whales were photographed having sex, and it was gay sex. Excellent. I bring this up because... Hey, dumpster divers, and welcome back to a new episode of It's My Birthday Today. And this is what 33 years old looks like when they spend way too much money on plastic. <laughs> Hence the sunglasses, not because it's sunny out, because I don't need you seeing the bags under my eyes because I can't afford Botox yet. So today we're doing that fun thing where we're gonna go see what's on the shelves, check out some clearance, do all that junk. And I thought it'd be super fun if I took you guys with me so I could film in public and make it super duper awkward. So welcome to Boise, let's see what's on the shelves. Okay, and it looks like according to my camera roll, the first place we ended up going was Target. I didn't recognize it because it was sunny. They had the cutest little Mega Block Pokemon Evolutions. Vaporeon's my favorite Pokemon, but I love all the Evolutions. And then, despite better judgment, they had all the Wish stuff on the shelves where all my Ariel stuff used to be. And so I'm kind of sad that she's starting to clearance out and an era is over. But they still had a very tiny live action Ariel section. And most of the clearance stuff ended up on the end caps and I ended up buying it anyway. There's that $37 set I want with Ursula. Her sisters still aren't on sale. And then some stuff on the bottom shelf. The Barbie section here has actually been really stagnant for a while. I haven't seen a lot of really new stuff. Um, some made to move, some doll sets, like fashionistas are all the same. There's some like houses over here I haven't really seen before, this fully furnished one. And the Monster High section's been about the same for a while. It's a lot of just like, I don't think I've seen anything new here for a minute. Next I went to the $5 tree, which is actually inside the rotting corpse of our girl Tuesday morning. They didn't even wait for her to be in the ground before they flipped her. They had these cute little princess fun packs. They had Ariel in some artwork I haven't really seen her in before. And then they have these cute little Mattel packs just a bunch of other little things, some dolls, just some stuff we've been seeing on My Froggy Stuff's channel for a hot minute. Um, little mini doll houses. And then their actual like 12 inch dolls, they have a ton of accessories for them. There's like jet skis in here, swimming pools, carrying cases, little furniture outfits, all that stuff. Like they literally have like toilets and shit. Like it's nuts. More accessorized than Barbie. Next up, we're checking out the shelves of my least favorite friend from Friends, Joey. They had about everything you would see at a Ross. Basically, a really busy, messed up shelf, a bunch of toddler dolls that nobody knows where they came from. Oh, and then apparently we just went to Zerker's. Um, good job doing a transition past Jeffrey. And then pan over to the next thing, naturally raised meat. My meat's naturally raised. And then they had all this really cute Barbie the movie, Barbie themed stuff alongside like just Barbie's regular branding. And it just makes for like a cute party theme. And then the real reason I'm here is all of the Little Mermaid stuff that's actually on clearance. And you know, I could always use more paper bags, a candle, some plastic cups and some napkins. Let's go to the one bookstore that hasn't sold a book since 2008. It took me a minute to find this shelf. It was kind of hiding in the back. And it's been here for a minute because you can see some old Mattel stuff, some new Mattel stuff, all the Little Mermaid stuff, and some other stuff stuff. So they had some of these Defying Odds 100-year Disney mini figurines, which I thought I wanted. And now seeing them in person, I just don't like the scale. So I'm glad I got to see them in person before I spent $25 on them. And one thing I appreciate about brick and mortar stores like Barnes & Noble is that I get to see dolls on the shelves and get to see them in person before I buy. And that's really nice. And it lets me know that I can at least wait till she goes on sale before I get her. And then you get to see rare Barbies like this. I don't think I've ever seen one of the Lunar New Year Barbies in real life. I'm also really interested in some of these Atla after this series is over books because you get a lot of really good stories and questions answered in them. And then of course we had to include Korra who is on record my favorite avatar. And then this is one of the only thrift stores in the valley I've ever seen that actually sells their dolls individually and doesn't just put them in big bundle packs. But being individual means coming at a price because half of these have got to be haunted. 
But honestly, the only thing scary here are the prices because all of these individual dolls have no clothes, no shoes, and they average around $4.49 or almost $5 each, which is insane. And then I'm pretty sure what we're looking at here is a Hasbro Aladdin doll, which I would pay $4.49 for just to have them because I love male dolls. But is that what we're looking at here? I think so. But you guys definitely let me know in the comments because it's a Hasbro doll, so I'm surprised he doesn't have molded on pants. And then this is just an average size aisle in the toy aisle. It goes on for about four aisles and then they have a wall in the back of individually bagged toys. We have this queen. She's definitely seen some things, but she's not like unmanageable. I would like to see one of those doll restoration channels and get their hands on this because she needs their help. And then we are checking in on my foster parent, the one who raised me, the one who taught me how to shoplift, Fred Meyer. And then, okay, Jeffrey, yeah, pan over to the garden center, I guess. All right. So just a bunch of wasteful stuff like color reveal, playline dolls, you know, just crap like that. Nothing crazy. Some playline monster high, some playline Hasbro, Polly Pocket. Some more Barbie playline, none of the new stuff yet. This crazy ass little like Segway scooter thingy. And then this Slay Queen. And then we have the secret target who's usually fully packed with stuff, but it never goes on clearance, like ever. And it looks like we came at the wrong time because they're starting to stock up stuff, but they haven't yet. And then I'm not sponsored or anything, but this company, Original Use, they make so many like clothes I like, and they're always at the price I like. I just like their aesthetic. It's usually like some nice textiles, some good fabrics, nice and heavy and everything. And they do a lot of patterns and floral and everything, but yeah, I just like this company. Down the Disney princess aisle, we have all the Wish stuff, Frozen, um, the regular Disney princesses, some live action Ariel stuff, thank goodness. I still have a chance to get some things because you know, I don't have enough already. Here on the Monster High side, it looks like they've got a couple of different things, definitely some Cleos. Love my girl Cleo. Obviously, they got Draculaura. And then down the Barbie aisle, looks like it's just a lot of Playline stuff. Nothing crazy. Nothing's really standing out yet. Yeah, like, what's going on? I feel like I'm not finding any of those new Kens yet or anything. This I'm definitely interested in because it's very Little Kingdom old school Mattel, where they have fabric stuff, but they also have the rubbery Polly Pocket stuff. So it's a nice little hybrid. And it has three of my four favorite Disney princesses in it. Usually the Rainbow High section is crazy, but this one is super empty. So that's either a good thing, like they're selling, or a bad thing because, yeah. This randomly placed end cap Barbie that comes with the service dog. Love her. The reason I called this my secret target is because they're usually stocked up with everything. Like, they had the Pokemon 151 cards when nobody else in town had them. And now they have none, so other people found out too. So I wanted to take you guys somewhere new in this video, and I totally forgot we have an actual Lego store. They have the very fancy Snow White cottage. Like, if you're a Snow White fan or a Disney fan, the thing is nuts, but it looks amazing. They had Isabella's, like, flower pot Lego set, and then you can open it up and it has, like, her little bedroom in it, which I think is such a nice little touch. And then they had my girl, of course, she's still full price, which is okay, because I now have two of these. I got gifted one at Christmas from Andrew. And every time I think about becoming a Lego collector, I just remember how incredibly expensive Lego sets get. And it's a really good deterrent, but God damn it, they make some cool shit. This Lego Friends, Andrea's Modern Mansion. I don't know who the characters are, but I do know that this thing is fucking sick. This, I love everything about it. It's so cute. It would be even cuter if it was like, by the time you made it, it worked like an actual Polaroid because of how expensive it is. Legit a bequa. 10 year old me would have lost his goddamn mind. As an architect, I approve. This isn't a want, it's a need. Look at Tiana. But yeah, the rich people mall that the Lego store is in, it's an outdoor mall in Idaho, but it's okay because there's heaters everywhere and water features, so you know, it balances out. And I got some really good coffee over there. We are taking the back way into Marshall's to get some of those backdoor deals. Wink, wink. This is for Adam only. So if you're watching, here you go. Also for Adam, go to Marshall's right now and get you this because they didn't have Ariel. If I ever 
in the future, you know, get to own property again because, you know, all the boomers died out, the transfer of wealth went over, and we had another 2008 housing crisis. I would love to have one of these in my garden. I just think she's so slay. Marshall's also had one of the natural listas styling heads, and it was kind of cool to see it in person. Man, in 2020, I was so into these, and then after a while, I just did not care anymore. I was so jealous of anybody who had these when we were kids. Putting the S-L-A-Y back in Steffi, icon. My girl boxed up and on clearance, so she's definitely coming home with me. Bratz mug. They legitimately had Cool Ranch Dorito eyeshadow palettes. And the color story, I think it's really cute and makes a lot of sense. And it was only like a couple dollars. They also had one of those huge kid craft wooden doll houses. I just think they do such an amazing job. Like Mattel could never. And it was like Hannah Montana beach themed. Disney Princess Golf, anyone? And then I stumbled across this little like aerial shrine and it was almost like it was set up for me. And because April Fool's it was, I actually staged this photo because I'm a fake influencer now, sorry. I keep picking these up and then putting them down, but I want them. Such a freaking cute mug. I'm not an MLP girl, but I could be. And then I got to show you this work of art. Let me just get this trash out of the way first. But look at that. It's all the Disney princesses hanging out together. This is also the in and out that everybody in Idaho has been losing their mind over. And it always has a 30 minute wait minimum. And I remember eating there when I lived in Phoenix. And I just don't get the hype. Like, it's not bad, but I'm not going to, you know, spend hours in line to eat it. Get us a Waffle House here, though, and I'll fuck that shit up. Okay, let's go to another Ross. And then, could it even be a Ross if you didn't walk in and there wasn't an alarm going off, you know? So they had the world's biggest color reveal, and still nobody wants it. Honestly, same. Um, yes, please and thank you. Also, their relationship is canon now, because every single Ross I've been to, they are always right next to each other on the shelf. And then we have Playline Tiana and some Rainbow High beading kit. This is what I should write my stand-up jokes in. And then down the street in between both malls is this bricks and minifigs like Lego store. It's a locally owned joint and they sell all sorts of stuff. And I'm super excited to show you guys. Ha ha ha, just kidding. They're closed apparently. So oopsie poopsie. No Legos for us, which is good because they're fucking expensive. And yes, I am wearing a different outfit because I filmed these over the course of days, weeks, months, even years, or just days. And now we're going to Best Buy because I want to see if the Little Mermaid live action steelbook is here and if it's worth it buying. So I asked one of the sales associates and they said that they are no longer carrying DVDs, physical media like that anymore, which is so crazy because the last time I filmed this video for you at this exact same Best Buy, they had like a whole entire section. So all that's just gone now. But look at this super cute little Pikachu Nintendo Switch case. I definitely want this. And of course this, but $60 seems like a lot. And now this I need because I always want a cactus garden, but I can't keep them alive. Me when I try to sell you guys my bath water. Okay, so we are on the hunt for the Little Mermaid live action mug. It's like a ceramic mug, but it also comes with the lid, but it's also like a soup bowl. Okay, now that I've seen that child in that, I'm so glad I didn't get one yet because it is way too small. Honestly, this seems like something that Jen would really like. Looks like they got Ryan on clearance. But not a good clearance, what the fuck? That's why you can't trust TJ Maxx, she's a liar. And then I was immediately shut up because this Vanessa doll, she's actually on clearance for $4.50, so of course we're getting her. Then they have the Singing Mermaid Ariel, some Steffi Love, some Barbies, and then some other random stuff, the Vanessa I'm gonna buy just sitting there on the shelf. They also have this color reveal, like Duplo Lego set knockoff barbie house and honestly that's kind of slay so no aerial mug but i'm turning into an old lady i love these so much i would just love to sit out in my garden and drink tea and watch hummingbirds so one of our malls here is anchored by a kohl's so we're gonna start there and work our way through the mall let me dust off an old mormon swear here um shut the front door and then this is the first time i've actually seen this many dolls at this kohl's and of course you know got to make sure that we have aerial have plenty of those transforming aerials to go on clearance and keep in the box for later. And then on this end cap, we have even more, just like Playline dolls, mini dolls, stuff like that. They also have this really slay aerial jelly sunglass case, I guess is what you could call it. And some live action aerial throw pillows. So I keep wanting this place to be something, but it's nothing. I can still shop here even though I'm 33, right? 
so anyway, they have like a bunch of t-shirts and shit. Hannah Montana, Bratz, and of course, Ariel. And then the manager ended up finding me this shirt for like eight bucks on clearance. And holy shit, clearance is where it belongs, which you guys will see later in this video. I'm not the biggest stuffed animal or plushy girl, but this place is so cute. How can you walk past it? Look how outdated it is. They had some Pokemon plushies, a bunch of live action Ursulas everywhere, Mirabelle and Asha stuff, but no Ariel. Next up is the expensive time capsule. They had this tiny poly pocket for $30. A bunch of lovely Playline Barbie stuff. Love to see it. Some random Rainbow High and Nana Na surprise. And two of my favorite things right next to each other. Some more of our girl Steffi. I never go to this side, so I didn't even notice before. And then, of course, just princesses. We have everything from Mattel to Hasbro to when Mattel got the Disney Princess license again. And um, a random spirit toy and some more Ariel stuff. Daddy some badass dinosaur toys, all sorts of crap from Jurassic Park to Jurassic World, and Jurassic Salad. And because Idaho is so set back in the times, you're actually looking at one of the only three physical Macy's left in the world. But don't fact check that. Anyway, look at all these dresses. They have all sorts of colors and they're so cute. A lot of them are really like scaly and mermaidy, but yeah, literally every single color from like an actual prom dress to like a bridesmaid dress. And of course, the only reason we even came to a Macy's in the first place is because some Macy's around the country are carrying Toys R Us now. And you can see because we got Jeffrey the giraffe back there and I am a Toys R Us kid. I'm just, n no. Oh my fucking God, 10% off. See, that's another reason you come to Macy's. It's because of the amazing deals. 10% off is like, you know, tax. They also have these Wish Castle set play sets I've never seen before. They have a whole row of Barbies in the back. This is, if you guys watched the last video, this is the place where I finally found one of the mermaids I've been looking for, one of the Playline ones forever. And then they had Mirabelle and Ariel, a better stocked rainbow high shelf than the one we saw at Target, my goodness. And this is just an end cap. They also had this Ursula action figure on clearance and she was 10 bucks, which still felt like too much. So I didn't grab her yet. They still have a couple. Claire's. Yeah, I totally forgot. There was nothing at Claire's. I was looking for like this little mermaid bracelet or some shit. And they had like no little mermaid stuff at all. A shit ton of wish stuff, not a single little mermaid item. I like, are you guys seeing this shit? I understand she came out later than Ariel, but like Ariel's my girl. And then next up on the chopping box. <laughs> is the one store that has more Disney merch than Disney themselves. Like, look, I immediately walk in, bam, Ariel, bam, lounge fly, bam, some chipmunk, salt and pepper shakers. I don't know, a horse from Mulan, like what the fuck? And then this random Ariel like scene map, come on. Keychains and hair clips, pens and knickknacks galore. The super cute Tiana cup. The official Disney 100 glassware set, set of four 10 ounce, 295 milliliters. Even more Ariel Lounge Fly. One whole entire live action t-shirt that I got a really shitty picture of. Yeah, so anyway, I ended up buying some wine glasses on clearance even though I don't drink. So you know who else even has some live action Little Mermaid merch? Pandora of all places. Okay, so all that crap, you know, it's supposed to look like this, right? Like it's super cute. Like it comes with that little carrying case. It comes with all the characters like super cute, right? <laughs> Well, in order to get that case, you have to buy everything. And they don't even have everything. And just look at that. Like, those are like 75 fucking dollars each. Like, I don't, I don't like how we ended up in this place. Just sweeping it. And then I just wanted to show you guys her. Like, she's on one of those wraps that they put around a business that went out of business inside of a mall because, you know, all of America's malls are dying. Anyway, what's her story? Like, look at her. She's looking into nothing. She's just looking at a version of herself. I don't know. It's very Black Swan. So inside of JCPenney, they had these diary sets I've been looking for, and they were only like eight bucks. The Disney store section in this JCPenney, every time I visit, keeps getting smaller and smaller. They had one spa day aerial head some more affordable parks ears, some aerial bedding and a throw. And then that was kind of it for the mall. So let's go check out Walmart. Some Playline Barbie, still barely anything new. 
not a whole lot of live action aerial stuff left still a bunch of wish stuff around disney i love you forever dolls love those bad babies and then over there there's just some lol omg brats rainbow high disney princess and then some more barbie playline and then they have this on their like summer merchandise and everything and i'm still missing the second one they also have these totally cool claire's inspired disney princess rat tails and then just some aerial outdoor stuff like a splash pad and then some other stuff that wouldn't fit me but the beach ball would be kind of fun so now my favorite part of these videos not having to drive around anymore and seeing all the crap we got and having video evidence of how incredibly insane i am Welcome to being 33 and huffing a ton of plastic fumes. So, from the TG Maxx and Home Goods, we got the Little Mermaid reversible pool float. This Sing and Explore Ariel doll that was on clearance, so now I have one in the box. I think I have two in the box now because I'm crazy. This Rue 21 t-shirt that was $8 and it definitely deserves to be $8 because the graphic is all pixelated and it kind of fits and it's really thin. I can like see through it right now. This Little Mermaid glass I got from Big Lots for $5 like a couple weeks ago. It wasn't in this video, but it was in my story, and it was in my car, so I finally took it out. This Little Mermaid journal I finally found at JCPenney. Took me long enough. I only have one of these out of the package, but it's this Little Mermaid like wine glass situation. They were $2.50 each. I ended up buying all seven of them that they had in the store, and it was cheaper than buying one originally for retail price. A shit ton of party supplies from Zerkers. This Vanessa doll I got on clearance at the Home Goods and TJ Maxx for $4.50. This Little Mermaid Color by Numbers kit that I got at Walmart when I went and saw my mom during Christmas. Some more Zerkers party supplies that I got from the other Zerkers here in the valley. This Ariel and Eric gift set that I got at Ross for like, I think it was six, seven dollars, something like that. And then some more petite dolls that I got from Ross Burlington Coat Factory and TJ Maxx, I believe. I didn't realize I had Mala. I thought I had Caspia. So I ended up getting two Malas, a Tamika, and an Ariel. And now let's look at some birthday presents since I, you know, turned another year older. So this is from one of my favorite people ever. And it's a toddler doll because I don't usually buy myself toddler dolls. And she can go on underwater adventures and discover hidden treasures. So she's like bathtub friendly or whatever. And then I was given Anna's Arendelle mini castle. And it came in this really interesting like box that they don't usually come in. So that was kind of different, like a shipper box almost. And then I was given this by another fan. Like, are you fucking kidding me? She's from 1991, the same year as me. It's Marina. She's an 11 and a half inch fully posable doll with combable silky hair. Combable silky hair. And removable mermaid outfit. Um, when I was growing up, my friend Rachel, uh, they had a, a pencil with like a pencil topper of her. And I remember trying to steal that pencil from Rachel like a hundred million times and I never got it. But I love all the Marina, the Little Mermaid, saving the like Sabin's adventures and like this is just so cute and obviously I don't want to take her out of the box or anything although she looks like she might have been taken out at one point or something because there's some stuff in here like some charms and everything so maybe but yeah just very like 90s doll I don't know if you guys can see her that well with the glare from the plastic but yeah she's amazing and then the lovely Brent sent me uh, one of those mermaids I was telling you guys about that I used to get from the 25 cent bin at the thrift store when we'd go hang out with my mom. And then two Arctic flavored seaweeds that have a green and yellow kind of color palette. And I, I love seaweeds. Um, I don't know if you can see the seaweed up there on my shelf back there, but she's super cute. Probably not because I'm filming in cinematic mode for some reason. And then I just received this Disney store package today because I totally forgot I ordered this stuff because it's on clearance. So I got this deluxe aerial throw from the Disney store. The button up men's shirt from the Disney store. Holy shit. This is like a legit water bottle, guys. Like it's metal and it's actually like heavy and it's like a hydro flask or something because the way it looked online, it just looked like a cheap plastic bottle. I guess I wasn't really paying attention, but no, this is like legit. I can, I can hurt somebody with this. And then finally, it's the Clio Induce 2-pack Cree production dolls. Yeah, 
luckily Amazon did like a surprise uh, pre-order. Somebody sent me the link and I jumped on it as fast as I could. All right, guys, so that's it. I am officially 33, uh, 29 if you're my mom and watching this. Yeah, that's it. Another year, another, you know, year. I also got a year left of grad school and I'm so excited. I'm so tired. Uh, my hair is looking crazy right now. Yeah, for anybody that sent me any birthday wishes, any birthday gifts, obviously, thank you so much. It, it's been a journey. Um, thank you for coming with me to see what's on the shelves right now. I know it wasn't like wasn't a good time for stuff on the shelves but it's a good time for clearance so they can make room for stuff on the shelves and yeah that's it and i will see you guys in my next episode where if i ever catch you saying that word again it's on site bye jesus guys i've got a real problem here but we knew that